Hi guys, think Tory MPs couldn't stoop any lower. Think they couldn't scrape away any deeper at the bottom of that barrel. Well, let me present you Penny Mordaunt, the current leader of the House of Commons and failed candidate for Prime Minister. Here in this video, she posted to social media, she promoted a number of food pantries and warm banks, and she plugged her own book in the process. Yes, it isn't enough to take a selfie or pose smiling in front of a food bank, you need to use a charity organisation to flog your own paperback. Have a listen to this. Food pantries are a great scheme that can help families reduce their food bills by about £800 a year. They're not food banks where you need to be referred in, they're open to everyone and for a few pounds a week you can get a decent shop, utilising donated food or food that would otherwise be going to waste. And they're also warm places where you can get other assistance too. Through donations from the proceeds of my book, Great... There you have it. Okay, some of the proceeds from her book are going to help this. But these organisations shouldn't exist. Warm banks should not exist. Food pantries should not exist. It should not be necessary to have them. Greater. We're giving some funding to Cosham and Copner pantries, but I wanted every ward in my constituency to benefit from the scheme too. So I've provided funding for three more pantries. Paul's Grove Pantry will open soon at the community centre, and I want to say a huge thank you to Councillor Lewis Gosling, Councillors uh, Rob and Gemma New, and Councillor Dan Weems, as well as Sarah at the Paulsgrove Community Centre. My thanks also to Jeanette and the Reverend Ali Kerr at St Cuthbert's and their team, who've used my funds to set up the Baffins Community Pantry, which is now up and running, and you can find the opening times of those pantries on my website. But I want to open a fifth pantry in Portsmouth North, either in the Hilsey, uh, Tipner or Stanshaw areas. We have the funding to do that, but we're just looking for a suitable site. So if you've got any suggestions... Just a question. Why is the information on the opening of the pantry on your website? Shouldn't it be on the website of the pantry? Look, I think what she's doing here is this is an attempt to... Um, shore up some support at the next election. Look at what I have done for my constituents. I have supported food pantries, which are a bit like food banks. And this is an attempt to win back support. Is it to turn the tide against um, the Labour Party? Look, the Labour Party are likely to win. I need to hold on to my seat. I need to look like I'm actually doing something. Now, I don't want to hear any more from her. Thanks to my friend on Twitter, Her Highness Heidi High for Prime Minister, who posted this. Uh, just 12 years, in 12 years, what the Conservatives have achieved. Closed 800 libraries. Closed 1,300 children's centres. Closed 600 police stations. 600,000 more children in poverty. NHS waiting list hit a record 6 million. This is actually out of date. It's a lot more than that now. It's about 8 million, I think. Cut local government funding by more than 50%. Food bank usage up 1,000%. Most deprived fifth of uh, secondary schools hit hardest by uh, real terms cuts. Highest tax burden in 70 years. 12,000 fewer police officers. Increase in number of people sleeping rough. And ambulance response times at record high and growing. Um... Food banks are not the same as pantries, but they're providing pretty much the same uh, service. As you can see here from the Trussell Trust, the number of people receiving three day worth uh, of emergency food. Back in 2007, sorry, 2008, 2009, it was about 25,000. Now in 2021, it was 2.5 million. And of course, in 2022, it's going to be even more, uh, more than that. And finally, I just want to look at her voting record because she's claiming here to care about people that care about them so much that she's helping to set up these pantries and warm banks. Well, her voting record speaks volumes in the opposite direction. You can see here generally voted against spending public money to create guaranteed jobs for young people who have been who have spent a long time unemployed 
almost always voted for reduction in spending on welfare benefits. You know, if people had higher benefits, they wouldn't need to go to food banks. Generally voted against raising when, uh, welfare benefits, at least in line with prices. Almost always voted for reducing the housing benefit for social tenants deemed to have excess bedrooms, the bedroom tax. Almost always voted against paying higher benefits over a longer period uh, for those unable to work due to illness or disability. You know, these are the, the most vulnerable in society. She voted against paying higher benefits and almost always voted for uh, making local councils responsible for helping those in financial need afford their council tax and reducing the amount spent on such support. Um, this, of course, is about uh, offloading responsibility onto councils, councils who are at the moment providing the support people need, like food banks and warm banks. And she voted against providing more support for councils or making them more responsible. Um, it's disgraceful, but this is what we come to expect from people like her. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.